Rhapsody of Realities, Daily Devotional, Thursday the 25th of May by Pastor Chris. The topic is a training for greater responsibilities. Our first verse. For the kingdom of God is not just fancy talk, it is living by God's power. 1 Corinthians 4.20 In our previous study, we learnt about the kingdom of heaven and how its purpose is to establish the kingdom of God in the earth. But what's the kingdom of heaven? It refers to the political government of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Isaiah 9.6 Even though the kingdom of heaven is in the earth and ruling the spirit world, it's not yet governing the people. To understand this, think of a political party that's already active with members, but hasn't assumed authority over the government of the state or nation. When that party eventually takes over the government, everything changes. In the same way, once the kingdom of God is truly and duly established in the earth, then the kingdom of heaven takes over. But for now, the political structures in the world today will continue to nosedive and the world will keep having more problems until the rapture takes place. The period of tribulation will then follow, after which the Lord Jesus will appear from heaven. The Bible says in Daniel 7.27 And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. At his second coming, the Lord Jesus gets the kingdom. He will establish his political structures on earth and take over. Hallelujah. He will reign and rule and in the end deliver the kingdom to God the Father. Understand that all the things we're doing for the Lord on earth today aren't an end in themselves. They're trainings for greater kingdom responsibilities ahead. Therefore, serve the Lord wholeheartedly and make up your mind to accomplish big things for the kingdom, knowing that there's a hereafter. Let's say this prayer together. Dear Father, I consciously invest time, energy and resources in the education and training of my spirit for greater kingdom responsibilities ahead. I am inspired and fortified for the kingdom life, in and by the word. I am positioned for greatness, living the triumphant, prosperous life through the power and effectual working of your word in me. In Jesus' name, Amen.